In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin, activate the name of Super Black. In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin, activate the name of Super Black. Uh, imagine that, a future that's super black. Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact. What would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black. Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back. Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact. As I encounter evils the world face, demons the world makes. I needed the world to stay. Rest in peace with Chad, which they killed all the black panthers. Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers. Suits in DC, pray it lead to a civil war. It ain't no justice league. What's the need to be civil? For propelled like the juggernaut, it's playing no stopping this. The world in grave danger, who can stop the apocalypse? They killed all the heroes, the new ones don't really care. But if you need me, put your fist up in the air. Yeah, in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin, activate the name of Super Black. In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. 
flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name of Super Black. Hey, yo, everybody, it's your man on the wall, Chris Fury, with another edition of Blurred's Eye View. If you are watching or listening to us tomorrow or even listening to us right now live, thank you for tuning in. Hit that notification bell on the YouTube channel and you'll be privy to Fury's reacts and reviews. But first off, let me introduce somebody who has joined the team. Uh, this is Kira Brown. Thank you for turning the team, Kira. Hi. What's going on? Nah, not <laughs> much, man. Let me give you her, uh, your... Obligatory applause there. There we go. <laughs> every, every show we got is special. Hey, call out. I didn't pay y'all that much. Uh, <laughs> every show we got. <laughs> every show we have is special. Uh, first up, we have our guest. Uh, you've seen him before. You've heard him before. And he's here to talk about his latest project, which is uh, Power Ranger raps the redo. We got Mark Cooper, player one in the building. What's hey, how you on? doing? What's happening? I gotta give, I gotta give you your applause, my oh, man. <laughs> look, you, you always. There you go. Yeah, you, you, he always. Mark has always consist. How do I put it? Mark is what you call a consistent brother. This man consistently is putting out music. His discography is bananas. All right, <laughs> just to, to say the least. Uh, I think the last time you were on, you were working on between five or seven projects at the time. I think it was something crazy. And Power Rangers Day was what was last Sunday. So yeah, so he's he was talking about that album, and I gotta say, there's a couple tracks that stand out to me. One of them was uh, Black Power Ranger. The other one is Green Ranger. Uh, and then villains. Villains really hits, and I, I don't. Villains hits, and so. But if you need to check it out, go to Bandcamp and check that out. But tell them about tell them about the project. Well, um, it was a project I started about uh three years ago when I did the first Ranger raps. It's actually a very funny story. I like telling it. I don't tell it very often, but I do. <laughs> so I was at Michigan Comic Con. And I was waiting for Walter Jones. Right. Mm -hmm. And what people, a lot of people don't know, he's from here. His parents still live here. Oh. So um, I was getting ready to walk up and I bumped into his parents before. And then I was just talking, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I was working on some, you know, some Power Ranger thing stuff really soon or whatever. And this is the first time and she would, you know, mom and dad were there and they were like, okay. So <laughs> hey, what you got? What you got? You want to wrap something right now? about it let me know what you got is the first oh, time it I was like, kind of, kind of well i'm kind of working on it i'm gonna figure it out you know i was <laughs> kind of a little embarrassed because you were like wow his parents just said hey you should be on it be ready to go but you know i was kind of caught up the back so the funny thing is i went home and i wrote the whole project in a week now i gotta tell you because i didn't have anything to play it but i gotta say I did listen to it. I got a chance to listen to the whole album. And like I said, your work ethic is bananas. Oh. <laughs> um, For as real. you know, I love I love your 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 cartoons when I love your stay tuned album. That that was actually playing. I was in the shower the other day. And I'm like, <laughs> so because you have a way of taking nostalgia from television shows, cartoons, and games, movies. And flipping it in such a manner that you like, yo, I never thought that I would listen to this theme song in this light, you know. And then when I'm hearing Power Rangers rap the redo, and I'm like, man, not only did he do a, 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 a album for Power Rangers Day, he did a song for each Ranger, like, <laughs> and so it and, and still manages to pull off the punches so I, I appreciate that man it's like so tell everybody who's listening or who's watching right now all about power rangers day sure man uh this past sunday was the 29th anniversary of the first mighty morphin power rangers being aired on television mm -hmm. so there were a lot of different uh milestones a lot of people didn't think about you know like your first black superhero has you have zach 
you know, like the first Black Ranger where it came to that. You find out later that he has a, a segment where he talks about all the things that were on set. And he finally explains the whole Black Ranger, Black Color thing. He mm-hmm. personally picked that. He wanted that. Because he thought he was like, the first thing, the first thing he thought <laughs> was the green ranger suit was his. I didn't know it was the red. It was the red ranger. He thought, I believe in the clip that he did the episodes part. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, but I like this black better. So right. a lot of the things that we thought were, you know, literally put there for, you know, for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Right, but it ended up <laughs> ended right. up not being that whatsoever at all, and it made it even more inspiring to see that. As in, hey, he picked it regardless what anybody thinks or anything like that, and I'm inspired by it. So, if it if anything inspired the Ranger Project, I mean, not only it was Zach, but it was his parents. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So I came up with that and did just one verse of it in 2019. So the reason why I did the Redux is because. I wanted to cover the whole Zordon era. Yeah. So all the best the- era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm 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 very biased to that, but I also <laughs> gotta sit down and rewatch everything all again. But mm-hmm. that's what the things that inspired it. And then there were so many people inspired by the songs because um I never looked at TikToks and things like that or anything. And what's crazy is people. I just didn't know how many people were inspired by those particular songs, even though it was something I did as a one-off, something I just wanted to do to enjoy, you know, like a particular project. It turned out to be really, really popular. And then there were individuals who were using the songs and stuff. And then when I said, hey, thanks for using the song, they're like, dude, you're the person that made blah, blah, blah. And then I would show up to comic cons and even like ranger signings. Like in Michigan, there'll be people be like, you're the guy that made the ranger rap. And I was like, well, yeah, you heard it. Yeah, we listen to it all the time. <laughs> it didn't know be certain individuals who would recite Mastodon to me or the Green Ranger or the Red Ranger stuff. And then what makes it even cooler is that there's even younger kids that are, you know, where their parents grew up with Power Rangers loving those kind of songs. Mm-hmm. Right. So it inspired it even more. And I said, you know, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish the project where I need to and be able to do that. And what's crazy is um, I wanted to do it last year, but inspiration wise, I just wasn't in the right head. Unfortunately, Mm -hmm. a lot of things happened, you know, emotionally that I wanted to be in the right spot because I don't like to compromise my uh, my music with bad or emotions or anything like that. I never want to, you know, not necessarily taint it, but I don't want to give a wrong impression the music I come out with. If it's something that's positive, something that's great, I go for it for that angle. So when I did that, I was able to say, hey, you know, okay, I did it about each ranger. I mean, people were expecting that. But then I took different perspectives. You know what I mean? I picked uh, certain things like, uh, <laughs> yeah, Prowl's uh, Prow- Prow- <laughs> attachments in the audience. Thank you, Prow. She said, you needed to meet me. That's this. That's all shame the devil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she made sure. <laughs> she said, let's be clear. The mute's had to show up. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I, I agree. Shout I agree. out to Prowess to test me. She's, she's the incredible. The baddest female MCs I've, I've heard in a very long time. She's incredible. She's always yes. been incredible ever since I met her. So I'm very blessed. Yes. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you give but, her uh, her flowers now. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely f- flowers, dungeon, anything for dragons, <laughs> anything. No matter. <laughs> she's ready to terrorize the village. She's ready. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I would make songs that people don't think about, as in. You're a high school teenager. You just got given Power Rangers stuff. What would you do? And then every time you want to do things in life, the communicator goes off, right? So I made a song about the communicator. Yeah. Song about villains, bring out the Zords, and being wanting to be a Power Ranger when since you were a kid. It was just things that inspired me to write those at the same time. So that's why I like combining those elements, too. I so think it was a, a fun project to put it all together. I think it's such a dope project on top of that because... You know, like Proud was said, it's probably the best era, and I can I can honestly agree. You know, it was it was it, it's not just nostalgia, but it introduced us to things like Tommy Oliver whooping all five of their asses and kicking <laughs> them off the sword. I'll never forget that. You know, no, oh, that was a, that was a day. That was yeah. a day at, at school, man. 
Don't I still have that VHS tape to this Ooh. day. <laughs> Green with Evil Part One. Yes. I still have it to this day. You know, uh, uh, Jason David, uh, Jason David Frank, still probably the most stressful week of our lives mm. <laughs> next to Optimus Prime dying. I'm like, that was the oh most stressful week ever. It, it, and it wasn't like he, it was like one episode and they bounced back. It was a saga. They were having real problems. <laughs> yeah. And it, was to the point, it, it was to the point Jason was just flat out. Like, yes. Uh, yeah, bro. You just got to join the team and I, I just don't think uh, we, we need we, to have any more discussions. <laughs> like This ain't we, happening again. We, we, I'm going to get that together you for our, you, Jay. I'm going to get that side. together for Jay Rich. And so Jay, Rich, Jay Richardson, running of uh, Jay One Con, big supporter of the show. Uh, he said he, he's all about nerdcore. He'd love to have you on for VT Hero Series Two soundtrack. I will set. I will get him in touch. Sure, no problem. <laughs> like, you 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 rock with certain people I know, like versus versus. I'm in a taco gang with all them, so they just did a a venture between the group of taco gang and and uh, Hajoka. So that's dope. I'm glad. I, I have no problem with it at all. Yeah, JDF was. After that, you couldn't help but respect that man. It was there was nothing else to talk about. <laughs> like it was just whew. after that, it was just like Jason, you need to step down because Tommy over here can handle all of this. <laughs> um, Kimberly was was like feeling Jake Tommy after that, and it was just like you know, there was a lot yeah. of there was a lot of stuff. options. There was a lot of that, <laughs> a lot in that show that people don't understand like there's one thing i would just say and i'll just leave it alone you know who's the one person that's the mastermind that kept all the rangers together insane Billy. Blue Ranger? no yeah. ernie the juice guy you ain't lying <laughs> you ain't lying Yo, you ain't told a single that man, lie. That, he was that like he was that that man. Man. God, he he was, like the typical bartender. He was like that. He was the pastor in the church that you had to go every, to. Like, every individual, for real. every individual ranger had a problem, and Ernie solved that problem. He, he, he even was, solved Bulk and Skull's problems. He ooh. solved everybody's problems. <laughs> he was, he was a social worker. Tearing up the bar every time. He right. <laughs> and that's all he did. And he, was and he like kept your nutri- you know, and they were healthy and all that stuff. Uh, you know, ironically, if you look at some of the stuff in the series, I know it's being a nerd, but if you look at some of the stuff in the series, at home here. they <laughs> always finish their juice before they're ready to fight a villain. You ain't <laughs> that. playing that, it's you know? True. That's true. You're right. That's true. Uh, Ernie the Juice Guy was like your local bartender then. And he's like, yeah, you got a problem? Sit down. He's always wiping off the thing and mm-hmm. here's, here's your juice. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> here's your juice and here you go you're all right now oh man uh we're gonna take a quick little break i'm going to show you a little trailer and we'll be right back and talk more to mark cooper about power range raps and we got some news coming through with gird clothing i want to show you something You see that banquet over there? I can get in and out in three minutes. And do what? Rob it. (laughs) Happy New Year! Here's the thing. No one's born bad. Like anything, it takes practice. Well. Take a look at that for me, please. Need your help here. He says, don't scream. Empty your drawer. What's all the commotion? It's a robbery across the street. What? Yes. Every city has its king. And in this case, that guy was Tommy K. I may only have an eighth grade education, but I got a doctor's thesis in street. I want some capital for an out-of-town job, and I hear that you are the guy that I'm supposed to talk to. I'm in. To partners in ride. Thank you, Mrs. Klaus. Wife, family. Nope. But I'm available. Um... <laughs> So is there anything I should know about you? Do you have any goals? Fun facts? Well, I can't tell you all my secrets. No, <laughs> can I ask you a favor? <laughs> Whose place is this? Ours. What? <sighs> Still nothing out of that. Not a thing. Nothing is a ghost. Hmm. I'll take this one. Where'd he go? Kill him with success. Bury him with a smile. What do you think he's trying to hide? I gotta do just one more. One last one. 
Yes, I, I think I just witnessed a bank robbery. How many more of those do you think you can do just like that? <laughs> this goes down now, we start a loop. I think it's like a credit card payment. Oh, God save the queen. Anyone seen this guy? How would you like to pay for that? Cash. That was Bandit by Quiver Distribution. It stars Josh Duhamel as Gilbert Galvan Jr., a charming criminal who escapes from prison and assumes a whole new identity. Make a make stop there. <laughs> and he starts assumes a whole new identity after falling in love with Andrea, who's played by Elijah Cuthbert, a caring social worker he can't provide for. He turns to Robert Banks and discovers that he has an exceptionally he's exceptionally good at it. He's addicted to the Russian money. He turns to loan shark and gangster Tommy K, played by Mel Gibson, for bigger opportunities. Thank you for Quiver Distribution. Uh, we will have codes coming up for that really soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we have our special guest waiting on Indra. Here she go. Here, here she is. Here she is. I'm going to bring her in now. We have, we have founder of GERD Clothing, Indra Hill Jordan. How's it going, Indra? How's it going, Indra? It's going good. How are you guys doing? All right. All right. I want to show, show your commercial, your commercial first. first. Okay. It's dope. Don't it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> clothing indra indra jordan how's it going uh i don't even know where to begin anime inspired black owned uh clothing company this is dope tell us all about it how'd you get started um it's a clothing line that i decided to do for streetwear because i love streetwear i'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of like girl with, <laughs> with a good pair of jeans <laughs> um but it's a streetwear line that I'm, i created i wanted everybody to be able to wear something because i know we all like anime. We all love anime. And I wanted to create something that you can wear not just to conventions or not just get a, a, a graphic tee. I wanted to be able to have some actual stuff that you can wear like out or going to like just any kind of function. You know, um, I just wanted to give that creation of stuff. And I love like, again, I love streetwear. So I wanted to make streetwear with anime stuff. So mix it, give everybody something. Um, and my company, it started almost two years ago. I'm almost two years into it. I kind of just sat back and was like, what do I want to do? Um, I, I'm i sorry. I was in the program. and I'm in a union to be an electrician. Well, I'm done now. I'm an electrician. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time, I was like, you know, I wanted to have some, <laughs> I wanted to have something also to uh that i wanted to that i wanted to do as well you know that i loved and that was one thing i thought about uh, for a few months before i decided to do it and i put my own money to it invest my own money into it and i decided to go ahead and go forth with that so so um i guess i can make the announcement i guess uh blurred's eye view was partnered with gird clothing so there's that uh her website is getting ready to be launched really shortly so i'm looking forward to that uh Stay tuned for more details. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I gotta put this cut this post up because J1 and J Rich just said Ernie was for Power Rangers, what Ted Lange was for Love Boat. This is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> um, we had a lot of news that jumped off all oh, this week, so I think I, 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 I'm pretty sure we can get into it. So, here we go. <laughs> So, as you know, as of last week, uh, She-Hulk episode three uh, premiered. Uh, me and Kira talked about it with uh, our other co-host, Tracy Carr, Thursday night. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you Have you watched it yet, Andrew? I haven't got a chance. I've seen clips. Um, mm -hmm. Is that the one with Meg Thee Stallion in it? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many memes <laughs> going around about that. I'm just 
It's, I mean, she I did a TikTok. It. I did a whole TikTok. Like he had make the stallion knees. I love her for it. Dang. <laughs> Um, How can you be mad? That's what I, I can't even. You can't even be mad. <laughs> so, um, I haven't gotten to see, and I am interested in seeing. I kind of been like bogged down with other other anime, and I want to see a clothing a company to run. What am I? Who am I? What am I thinking about? Yeah. I, heard, you know, I was like, I go back to my old anime that I've already watched twenty thousand times. Sometimes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Emmys has been good to the nerd community as a whole. And I can start it off by saying congratulations posthumously to Chadwick Boseman, whose wife accepted his honor and his award for Emmy winner for outstanding character voiceover performance. Um, anytime I can talk about that brother in any good form is always a, a thing for me. <laughs> what what did prowess prowess is? I mean, Jennifer Walters has a healing factor, knees and gamma. This is true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is true. Uh, also, in the Emmy game, Moon Knight oh. won for outstanding sound editing for a limited anthology series, movie, or special. And I gotta say, yeah, they really did that the stuff. The stuff that they're showing on Disney Plus, their soundtracks are really good. Really good. They're really good. It's very it's it, it's immersed. Like if you don't know anything about sound, you can at least say that it's extremely immersive. Mm -hmm. Like you, I mean, if, if, yeah. even if you have a trash sound system, you <laughs> you hear everything that's going on. You know exactly what it, it's good. It's crisp too. But whoever, yeah, if, it, it, anybody will have the budget for it. Disney will have the budget <laughs> to do that. <laughs> if anybody has they the better, budget, they at least have to have that. Like, I mean, you figure, I mean, it started with Loki and Loki had a fantastic, you know, intro and soundtrack. So it was just like, just powerful and strong. And and then you listen to Moon Knight and you're like, yo, what is, how are they doing this? <laughs> They're Man. really putting their foot in it. And Aaron is saying like, this is where we're at with it. You know, this is how we're making this whole thing work. And I can't be upset with it because I'm one. I'm a Marvel whore. Let's just get that off. People that know me know, man. I'm a whore for Marvel. I, I can't help it. You're not no. alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, really they keep giving me the content. Right? I keep taking it. I, it's like, I feel like Tyrone Biggums off of Dave Chappelle. I'm just like, I gotta have. I gotta have. You got me with them red balls. I gotta have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, see, yeah. Look, <laughs> be proud of problems. Marvel, Marvel Hose Unite. Unite. <laughs> Marvel Unite. <laughs> we got to put our rings out there. That action, that action's there, baby. Um, it's it's a big thing that they're doing over there. Um, I Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's like, I wish they were putting it. For a while, they were, they were releasing shows on Wednesday, and then they yeah. pushed it back to Thursday. And I'm like, you just want to make us wait. Mm -hmm. All wet at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You know how you get you know how you're hungry and you just can't <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like I love the Loki because in deep down inside I am Loki. Like Loki's my spirit animal. So I, was like, I, Loki, I was like, I need to watch this. I was so immersed in that show. I was just like, this is me. This is how it would be. So. It's 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 so much what we needed. It really is. Um oh. Okay, I guess uh, Luke just came through an hour ago. Uh, Lucasfilm Star Wars The Acolyte just added Joey Turner Smith. That's news. They're, they're gonna, they're getting all. Here's the thing about Star Wars. I'm a more for Star Wars too. So <laughs> I'm just saying, there's so much Star Wars content to, you know, just quit playing around and give me my backstory from Ace Windu because we know there's no win. Hell, he died. No. Sam Jackson, we talking about who kills off Sam Jackson, except for the other guy. Nice. Um, he got to get out of that Marvel contract first before you get a real story out of him. Uh, he's ready, but he's been he's he's ready. He said, he's but ready. it's like who really wants to get out of that Marvel contract? That contract's probably nasty every single time. Like just nasty. Like I can go. I can't. <laughs> if the rumors, if the rumors are true about what they have lined up, and we'll know in another two days. Uh huh. The lineup that they said that of people that they may have, 
three names that stood out on that list it was John Boyega, Giancarlo Esposito, and Denzel Washington. Wait, one wait, let me do. <laughs> More, they got Denzel name. to come in. If, if, ain't no way. If it's true, if it's ain't true. no way. I don't if, believe it. I don't. Don't give me is, hope. Don't give me I'm, hope. I don't like games. I'm curious if the team who, who Denzel's gonna be playing is just for like, yeah. oh my Magneto. god, Magneto. Oh yeah. Wait, what? Are we going back to the original then? The original concept of what Stan Lee was going with the uh, X Men. If they're to, listen, look, I saw when I saw Giancarlo give that entire speech um at that con that he went to. Oh I he's ready. He's he been ready. He's been ready fr- from the word go. I'm and I'm here entirely. <laughs> and, and you know what? Do Marvel fans understand the orig- origin of that concept of X-Men, how it was he created it based on Malcolm X and Martin mm-hmm. Luther King, and to know that they're going back. To that, I'm like Stan would be so proud. Like, thank you. <laughs> you yeah. bring it back when I need. Yeah, G Black in the building. What's going on, G? He says Esposito is Professor X. Denzel is Magneto. Yep, I, Look, I love Magneto to too. too. I, I, I ain't know. angry about it at all. Nope. I always remember yeah. that guy. I'm like, I take love just, just take my money. I'm for like, real. how you going? Yeah, I'm like, you got two <laughs> bomb ass actors. I'm like, I don't even know what side to choose at this point. <laughs> Uh, and Spike Lee Originals. Is, is, at Spike Lee Originals at that? Uh, yes. Come, come through. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a fourth name that's on that list that's rumored on the rumor list. And if it is, it's the biggest kick in the teeth to the supposed opposition I've ever seen. Henry Cavill. Nope. Shut up. <laughs> you a lie. I don't believe... I, they talking a lot. They talk I a lot. swear to God, yeah. that's a lot of talk. Like it was and now. Now, so here's the thing. Oh, he they were saying century. Hyperion. Oh, or, or or Hyperion, Hyperion Century. I was thinking Captain Britain myself, you know. But uh, G Black says Boyega as Blue Marvel. Oh, not opposed to that neither. Like the ah. '60s version, '60s '70s version, and then like if they do it, like Denzel will be the older version. Not opposed to it. Think, think, of, think of Denzel like, about, like, to, about to explain the Magneto's been... approach. Like, see, see, see now. Stop <laughs> you, 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 stop you mutants. Man. You, you, you go again, mutants. Charles. There you go. You again. better stop. You see, see, Charles. That, that's where, that's where <laughs> you're wrong. You know, Charles, you, that's, oh, that's, Charles, that's you where mother you're mother wrong. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's where you're wrong. doing Malcolm X. I'm done. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, John Boyega, I love. He did previous movies. Uh, Attack the Block. That was one of my favorite movies. Oh, that's what I was watched. introduced to. Him. I love yeah. Attack the Block, and I think it's kind of a low, like ranking movie or low, like talk, not talked about movie. And I think it's something mm-hmm. that people need, really need to get watching to. But he's always been my favorite. I was like, who's that little boy? He looks like Denzel's son. <laughs> that's what everybody was <laughs> saying. <laughs> We had it. We had he it. looked like, more like Denzel's son than Denzel's son. That's why I was like, I was so hyped when he was announced in the Star Wars films. I was like, this dude is making moves mm-hmm. and nobody sees it. Mm-hmm. And, and so I'm like, it, the, the sky's the limit for any of these actors. It really is. What did Broward say? Charles, you, Charles, you made, you fool made, punk mm-hmm. made. You Charles, you <laughs> fool <laughs> made, punk made. You think you can do this to me? <laughs> like, oh, that, that, that. I can see it now. Everyone's like, here we go. He's about to go in on everyone. Oh, my God. Yeah, but hey, it, don't got nothing on me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Juggernaut, block that shit out. Blot it yeah. out. <laughs> oh, you don't oh. rub it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm, the D23 be- starts on December 8th. Uh, which Chadwick Boseman will also be in the, inducted into the, I can't remember what exactly it's called, but it's basically you have an influence on the entertainment career, the entertainment world and people in, in general. And he's one of those people because he has made a massive, massive influence, especially in the black community. So he's actually been added into that. I'm like, I don't see why y'all added it. This should have been like the first name on the list. But um D23 takes place starting December 8th, and that's when that award ceremony starts. And you know, so from the from the 8th all the way up and through the weekend, it's gonna be bananas. Like so, news is gonna be dropping like crazy. 
Is, is it December 28th? I thought it was September. No. Yeah, September. I'm sorry. Did I say okay. December? Yeah, I was yeah, gonna September. Say. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what am I thinking? September 8th, September 9th? Yeah, September 8th, 9th, and 10th. Yeah. And so, yeah, they're they're getting ready to clean out whatever news that they let, didn't reveal at San Diego. Yeah. They're, you know, whatever so trailers those people got to see at San Diego, whatever happened over there. We will finally get to see this stuff after it's, this weekend. It's gonna be busy on Twitter. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day on Twitter. It's For gonna real. be a busy day on Twitter, and then Black Twitter is gonna blow Black the up. up. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm already. I got it preloaded in a notepad. <laughs> it's Here we go. I, that, that trailer alone had me like in tears. And then it's like they started talking about the story about how he went four years, didn't tell anybody, and just to think about. During that time, he was shooting, and mm -hmm. it was just like, wow, for him to shoot, he probably had to go to chemo. He probably had all these things he had to do within shooting, and he hid it. Yeah. And I was like, that's a tough thing to do. And I was it, just it, like, it man. It, it not, not only is it a tough thing to do, but the fact that it says a lot about his character mm -hmm. and his work ethic. And like mm -hmm. every that's person that's worked with him has said the same thing. It's like he came to the stage ready yeah, yeah. like even training for black panther they were saying like he was learning kosa like on the dot like he was he came to this i'm like yo my man went and learned a, a whole a whole real african language with one of the actors who played his father on the dot mm. with no problem it was just holding conversations with him like in the, in this language that's that says a lot that's that's commitment yeah. That's, that's, that's le yeah. it's legendary. It's legendary. It is. It is. So I, I, I am looking for what is that? The beauty of live. What am I hearing? Whatever. Um, <laughs> but that is the the beauty of his body of work, you know. And to sit back and say, and I actually can say, like, I've seen everything he's done. Like, he's a phenomenal actor. So yeah, to say, um. Oh, he wasn't good in it. I'm like, yeah, I haven't I haven't heard one person say he wasn't good in anything he's done. Like, you know, you you get a movie and I'm like, oh yeah, the, you know, Jim Carrey's good, you know, he's a good comedic actor, but then he did number 23 and it, you're on the fence. Yeah. You know, it like it's it depends on what it how you're looking at it. Or uh what was the kind of like movie? a Morgan Freeman. You don't really yeah. see too many movies ever that he's bad, even when the movie yeah. is written terrible. Mm. Yeah, you you Samuel, like oh, okay. Samuel. I, yeah. Samuel can never do a bad movie to me. I'm like you. Never like Samuel, do a bad movie. Samuel did Snakes on a Plane and sold and that. Sold it. it. Sold it. hundred. I recently just saw that. I I just couldn't That's under scary. I couldn't understand. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> the the fit the, the math ain't math, and you just like. This How movie, I, by all accounts, should be absolutely that was, that was horrible. By far, that was by far the biggest plane I have ever seen. <laughs> ever. Okay, that, that plane had a condo in, in the finance mortgage plan on the plane. Like, like, how do you have first class and then like? Like negative first class, like it's, it's like we're we're zero class, like we're we're, we're in we're in a stratosphere that doesn't exist. But we we are able to put snakes on a plane and nobody like, checked it, like you know, like nobody. It, it went by for those with good credit, negative yeah, first class. And, and how people credit. are dying to these snakes, and I'm just like, bro, <laughs> like how did this? How, how did this? I remember that hitting it was a it was a site i used to go to and it just had like everything and i remember that coming on and i'm like that's that's got to be a joke that's got to be a joke and turned around it wasn't a joke um <laughs> it was like it, kept, it was that same tagline and i'm like that tagline sold it one is Sam Jackson. Who's not gonna watch Sam Jackson say "motherfucker" one more time <laughs> in a line? He's like one of the only people I know that can that can say that same word, and I'm still entertained, and I don't understand why. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> even even when he got hired by Marvel to play Nick Fury, and it was just like, I bet you they won't let him say it. He came pretty damn Very close. close. Man. He just got dusted. That's yeah. It. I was like, dang, damn, I don't, they. It. They're leaning more towards that dark, so he might get to say it at some point in the near future. Like, look, Deadpool 3 is coming, so why the hell not? Uh, oh my God. Exactly. 
I'm a Deadpool stan. I'm sorry. I will watch that movie, all both of those movies, ten times. I was like, this is who I need to be in my life. Like this person, like, is totally who I need to be. I'm like growing, trying to grow up and be like him. <laughs> See, my co-host DC is a massive Deadpool fan. Like he'll uh, anytime it's on, he owns it. I think I was gonna buy him a double disc set just for the hell of it good. because like he'll watch it anytime it's on. He he's one of those guys. He can recite that line. He can recite the line. The no fact problem. that he did the fact that he did a backflip and some and landed on the table and some red bottoms. I said, I can't even walk in this. Sir. <laughs> Sir. I was like he's that's a game, that's a baddie right here. For real. That's a baddie. That I can't even do that. Little, no. little saucy number. And you know <laughs> it's a red bottom. <laughs> I can't even walk in them things. <laughs> right, Jay, Jay Ridge was like, motherfucker, yeah, it came, it was coming. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> you talking about sitting like, in the theater, and it was like, damn, he almost said it. it was like, yeah. So close. Oh, so close. <laughs> it's it was it's I'm looking forward to anything that they're putting out at this point. Um D23 is gonna be bananas. <laughs> it's just what it is. It's gonna be one of those things where our minds are probably gonna explode. Yeah, that's just I it. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Something that we need. Too. Yeah, it's it's something that we need. So I mean, let me see. Thursday, Thursday, yeah, the eighth. Yeah. Good lord, we're getting yeah. She Hulk and D twenty three starting on the same day. Yep. Well, that's our weekend, folks. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, and that's just Disney alone. Like, there's yeah. other things coming out at the same time. Cobra Kai's Friday. Yeah. Hang series is Thursday as well. Rings right. of Power episode three. And oh, just, Lord. Yep. So I got things words, to do. I got to go to work at some point. Like, <laughs> right? yep. So, in other they words, need to figure find this that out. person okay. and binge they watch it with them. Timeline. And then you'll feel better. <laughs> like, this one of the moments you're like, time out. Time out. Wait. I just, I got to breathe. Just let me breathe for two seconds. I'm coming back. I need a bathroom break. I got to go. I got an eight hour job. I got to go to. I I love you, but let me, let me breathe for just two seconds. I'm I'm going to be right back. back. We need to separate for a little bit. You know, you know how. You know how it's how think, the streaming it's service is old. It's not you. It's me. It's me. I just like I didn't. I wasn't built for that. I wasn't no. built for that. We gotta work, warm me up a little bit. Just bring me. I'm coming with you, but just bring me. Bring me with you. Don't drag me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got. You know how the streaming services always ask you after you watch them un uninterrupted, and it's like, are you still watching? You know, it's yeah. because it's like. Damn, yes, yeah, I'm still watching. Watching. <laughs> Look, I'm and and they'll be in a watching. bad spot too when they yeah, yeah. <laughs> you be like, I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not trying to pause it because I, I gotta go to the bathroom, but damn, okay, let me go. Oh, <laughs> damn, they did something else. I want to I've had to <laughs> binge watch some stuff all night, literally had to go to work the next day, and I work in construction, so I'm literally on the ladder, like. Ooh, wake up! <laughs> wake up! I was like, get off this ladder, go walk. Because you, you probably sit up there ladder. like this. I shouldn't have watched that last episode. Yeah, yeah, that last I can't half wait till I get home, till I, home till I see that other one. one if I could have slept just that thirty minutes, the thirty minutes, yes, I would have been good today. Just that yeah. one thirty minute break. Ten o'clock and I got to get up at five. Like crazy. Like this is crazy. Jay oh, said, I haven't gotten a single email from the Mazda Bob D. I'm reading that too. I'm like, wait a minute, they're not talking about nothing. Uh, nothing. They about to I'm have concerned. that club. So, this is what I advise for people that's watching the show or listening to it for tomorrow get you some pillows, uh, get you a blanket, put your PTO in now. If they won't <laughs> accept it, just, just call off. <laughs> because it's going to be a hell of a ride. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm streaming that straight from my desk at work. I, they, can, they can't tell me not a damn thing. Well, I'll eat. Like, you know so what? Much going I'm on. clocking out. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing this today. Emotional <laughs> distress. I don't need y'all. Y'all like, need me. Y'all, y'all, y'all stressing me out. PTSD I need a mental health right day. <laughs> this is PTSD. PTSD. I need a mental health day right now. I'm going to my therapist. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I just who's can't do therapist? this no more. Who? Y'all are oppressing my freedom. Oh yeah, it's definitely. It's gonna be a lot tomorrow. I, it is. I can't wait. I'm literally gonna like. I got a couple of days off, so I'm saying, no, I'm just, is it time? Is it's it time. time. I'm like, it ain't up yet. 
It's it's four in the morning. It should be up already. It be. Okay. <laughs> what are we talking about? I've already gotten my coffee. We can, <laughs> it's time. I've been been ready since last week. What 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 why are y'all taking a sweet time? Like just exactly. like, give me my content, please. Thank you. Yeah, right, you exactly. over there got his cap on. He just switches caps like he he Steph Curry or LeBron in the fourth quarter. <laughs> It's going down. Oh man! Oh man! Wait, whoa, whoa! Dark there has been rumors. Oh yeah, there has they, been rumors oh. of a Darkwing Duck series since that. I don't want them to do it. I don't want them to do it because they wait did a minute. Tales, and I was so disappointed. Wait a minute! Was, they the they've way. been they accidentally screen leaked that little bit of a corner when they were talking about doing. I think it was Rescue Rangers. Mm. I remember that from over a year ago. They had a little blurb in the corner talking about Darkwing Duck. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, when, when? But when? <laughs> I need it now. Yeah. See, you I'm know scared. what? I watched DuckTales because I was like, oh my God, DuckTales. And I was watching, I was like, I saw that new CGI. You was like, nope. Nope. <laughs> Wait, are you, like, you talking about the movie? <laughs> no. You talking about the movie? For uh, the show. Oh, the show. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't watched it yet. I watched, I did watch Rescue Rangers. It's enjoyable. The the movie, the slash CGI, and it's funny. It's mm-hmm. it's 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 right in wow. line. Was the was the iconic intro in there or no? Yes, it was. Yeah. It okay. was. Yeah. Yeah, they I mean, didn't. They didn't. They didn't cut any shorts. Don't have me going in ready to clap and sing. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't cut. They didn't cut any. Sh- not only that, but I'm they cool. gave you a new intro at the end of the movie. And there's there's appearances by people that you didn't think would show up because this is a Disney film. And I think Batman actually shows up and you're just like, why are y'all slapping WB like that? Why are y'all treating them like bitches? <laughs> because they bought the licenses. Like that. <laughs> They're just like, you keep on messing up. We're going to take it all from you. Well, <laughs> it, 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 truth be told, they probably about two or three dollars away from having that happen. They scrambling. Let, let WB tell it. Yeah, because yeah. they're like 20 million in the hole. Look, they, I say they, they just should just bring Animaniacs back out and just let us. <laughs> right, this, we don't know what to do. Give, uh, give us a, give us another season of that of the things that we we enjoy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they're just Animaniacs stuck. was my thing. I used yeah, to they're just come home Yeah, it was that. it was a lot of crazy cameos in in Rescue Rangers. It really was. Um, in other news, Brendan Fraser gets his due. At a standing ovation, he gets a standing ovation for the filming of the whale. Uh, six minutes. Six minutes. Yes, yeah. And every time I've seen Brendan Fraser and fans have seen him, and like at conventions or something, they rave about like we missed you. You were amazing. You know. No, I thought that was me. <laughs> that was me. Sorry. But it, 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 you're good. But it was amazing. And the Rock came in and said uh, that he was rooting for his success. He was waiting for it. Something amazing to happen for him. And that seeing him in Doom Patrol number one one, did did it for me. Yeah. I'm like, finally this man is getting getting back in the game, you know, because he got a bad rap and all this other stuff. And it's none of his fault. And they blacklisted him. And it just took I honestly, I genuinely don't know what happened to this man. Like, so basically, so basically, he <laughs> was accosted by like this high-ranking producer. All right, sexually accosted by this high-ranking producer, like Fondle, and because he said something back and was, you know, adamant, like, "Yo, hey, uh-uh, whatever," I don't fly like that, homie. Yeah, yeah, no. he don't fly like the producer was just like basically. Well, I'll have your head for it. You'll never work in this town. And that's what happened. And they and, it sh- and he couldn't get a job. He couldn't get anything in it for and it, it messed with him and messed with put him in severe depression, uh, messed up his marriage, just a whole lot of shit. It was a domino effect. Did he you know, out- and, and all we thought was he was just fighting mummies. And then that happened. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> all all man that man was, was doing all that man wanted to man. do. Was, was like fight mummy, mummy. Okay. and and Good. let's be honest. I was so that's sad. Did he did he actually name names with the producer or the person? They who, uh, they mentioned assaulting? the producer. They he mentioned the producer by name. It wasn't Weinstein, but he's one in that camp. Uh, I mean, 
it's not, it's not a surprise. I mean, it. Uh, let me stop before I no. close the door accidentally. Look. Yeah, it was, it was it was it was it was very tragic for him because you know you had one of those situations where even with Terry Crews, this happened with Terry Crews, and they said like he was kind of stuck, mm-hmm. you know, because it was like, what do you do? I'm like, well, as a man, you would think to respond accordingly to hell with everything else yeah but his he looked at it as like his job on the line he felt embarrassed and was like so he pretty much felt how how a woman would feel in a you know in a situation like that you know where you got this big burly dude pushing up on you and if you're not i don't know want to say i don't want to say secure that's the wrong word but if you feel like you're not being protected or uh, uh, supported in any kind of way, you feel cave. You, I guess you feel trapped and don't know what to yeah. say and don't or don't know what to do. So this is one of those situations. Then Terry Crews started putting his foot in his mouth on a lot of stuff. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so Jesus, we were rooting for you, Terry. I don't know. What the hell. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I stopped rooting with him for him after white when I was like, watch white chicks. So I'm just like. Okay. <laughs> Hey there, white yes, child. Today, Terry, we're not doing <laughs> a little this today. weird. It's a little weird there, Terry. A little weird. No, honey. No, we're not doing this today. I'm like, you pop lock on somewhere else. Pop lock I mean, somewhere I mean, else. It'd be, it'd be either that or him on the young on the longest yard being cheeseburger Eddie, <laughs> and how he was smuggling McDonald's and in the in the jail. I, I, I like, bro. It ain't nothing, cheeseburger <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Crews, that oh, family, he can walk like a thousand God. miles that way. <laughs> oh, oh is, is he officially out of the club? Is his car being revoked? Is <sighs> it revoked? Yeah, he's, 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 he's like on. Yeah, years. he's like on it's the other working. side of the fence, that looking over. Working. And, and oh, I was a fan of how he was in in the Expendables. I love Expendables, but yeah, yeah. That cheeseburger, you know, Eddie. That's the thing that did it for me. Adam, 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 Adam Sandler put right. that man in a, in a. He made you hide cheeseburgers in your drawers, man. That ain't cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh, oh my god! Cheeseburger, Eddie. I knew you. Oh. I knew it. He was all. He looks like <laughs> the whole movie. Black so been gone. Like, been gone. Been gone. <laughs> he looks like the whole movie. Oh. oh. I'm like, dude, this that, ain't, that is not the there's movie. not enough money they can pay me. <laughs> no, I used to, I used to watch Brooklyn Nine Nine, and it wasn't because of him. It was because of the rest of the cast. Yeah. Yeah, remember that? Remember that movie, Street Kings, where he just got shot like by like seven rounds of bullets in front of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> like, what's going on? I'm like, dude, oh. what? I was like, how many of these can you take, Terry? Like, I mean, you, you, you stole it. You did. <laughs> you sold it, you did. Oh my god, he was so missing yeah. bullets because he was out there, pop 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 pop. <laughs> you know, all that damn dancing didn't, didn't pertain to nothing. Oh, in oh. other news, producer Dan Lynn, who, who pretty much did the Lego movies, uh, he won't be taking over the DC films and TV projects. They, oh. He has another basically a prior uh, uh involvement with. Some, I think it's about Ride Shack. He does, uh, he does a whole nother production company, Ride Back, and he's doing something, some stuff over there. So he couldn't give his obligations to DC. And honest with you, I've seen the Lego movies. Love them. Uh, um, I like the Batman one. The Batman was hilarious. Yes. I was that was laughing good. the entire time. Yeah. But you really you probably said that movie must be. But you really part. turning down. A position at Warner Brothers to to do what now? It's something I think it's something he created or helped create. Yeah, he is. He's he serves as the CEO of his own production company. That's why. And he but you know what? Somebody else did that. Some, there's a guy that worked with that show, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. He ended up going mm-hmm. off to his own thing, had his own production company. Now he has a multitude of different um, shows that are really like blowing up so he has his own production yeah. but they were asking him to come back and i'm you have to think about it sometimes like yes that's a big bag but at the end of the day if you can create if you have if yeah, you're the creative right. source you can yeah. do it over again somewhere else yeah. and have your own 
money that you have to answer mm -hmm. to certain people. And, for. and that that's kind of my point. Like he's he wasn't turning down this role over anybody's money. They're doing something weird that he's not on board with. Cause mm -hmm. that's that, yeah. that's an easy decision to make, especially if you are trying to promote your own company and get your own ideas in. If you can't even finesse them to help you take some of those productions and put them into the into um, Warner Brothers, or you don't want Warner Brothers to touch that because a little bit problematic. Creative <laughs> control. That's what they want to create control. A lot of companies mm. try to, corporations try to do that. Like, oh, we love your stuff. Let's bring you in. But let's change this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And it's like, uh, at a certain uh, period uh, of time, it, it, yeah, it becomes something else other than what you create. And you're walk, sitting back watching like, what happened? Like, mm. this is not what I How did we get here? Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's it's at this rate of the game, the way Warner Brothers Discovery is looking, he dodged a bullet. The old big time. <laughs> he, because right now it's scorched earth over there, and oh, I don't yeah. think they know what they're doing next. I don't think they know what Ezra Miller's doing next. Um, yeah, hopefully, that just, fifty. What is it? That fifty-one fifty is is concrete. <laughs> Man. That boy needs to be he needs to be put in timeout. I know reason I know they just said that they're currently doing reshoots again for the flash. Um the way I'm reading it in between the lines, because they said they want to change the ending. And I, I know earlier before all this Bruja started with Ezra Miller, uh, they were saying that they were not gonna do the flash like the character, period. Like right. after this movie, like he just crashed and burn that whole thing and that's probably what that's going to be um just considering the fact that ben affleck is back as batman and he's going to be in the aquaman film and they're just like yeah we got to change some things i'm like yeah it's a shame you live in the information age where it's so readily available that all the news just keeps popping out because there was a time like oh you didn't know half the stuff was going on like toby mcguire spider-man the very first one. I remember we have leaked photos. It's just kind of blur. It's a blurred image, but it, we got an idea that it might be Green Goblin. And it was. It was just extremely blurred, but you could clearly tell it was the Green Goblin. It was just an extremely blurred image. Now, psh, <laughs> just like, like, the Wave King. Green Goblin's the Wave King. <laughs> the way <laughs> Norman I, I, Osborn the truly the is the. One, and I would just scream out, I get the Green Goblin. I was super excited. Like, this dude, and I was like, all like, the like if I see one. the next time I see uh, uh, Norman Osborn and he, I swear to God, if he walk in there or he wake up and he's taking off like his wave cat, I'm like, yo, Look. we are here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give him a gift of 360 waves. <laughs> <laughs> the wave cap, and I'm like in a brush. That I'm little like, orange can, it. that little orange can. Do it. <laughs> you already know what that is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, like I guess we here secret. now. Let's just Nor Norman Osborn is all about the waves. And like I, even in the comics, and like he stayed with waves. Flash was going to be the fo yeah he was he was going to be the focus of the DCEU going forward. Like Iron Man was for the MCU, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a black variant. G black. black variant. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why can't you know, instead point? of being a scientist, he called himself a drip lord? But <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kind of a I drip can't. lord myself. I will. Not, I can't. <laughs> Pluck you know, wave. You said <laughs> it. I was, I was so mad. Like like right after normal, with the dude. Like, uh, Norman Osborne was just so normal, and I was like, "So what are we doing?" And then the Green Goblin came out. I was like, "Yep." Yep. Or, yeah, that, or that or that, that scene in the final movie where it showed him smuggling donuts and that's what you that, that's what you knew it was over but like this man is crazy this man I just just it. smuggled <laughs> donuts thinking that nobody saw him do it i'm like when, when, when i, I see it i'm like he, he got the, i'm like that's an ugly ass coat he just snatched up. <laughs> what the hell is it and then it wasn't until later i'm like oh okay i see what's happening Okay. What's messed up is uh, watching Norman Osborn. I've I've read the comics and I watched. I love the animated series. And watching Norman Osborn, I realized I was very toxic. I was like, <laughs> super toxic. People I love were just like the Joker, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, Loki. I'm just like, I'm so toxic. I need to. Get <laughs> 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 when am I gonna get a good one? 
<laughs> in, 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 Loki, in Loki's defense, he's just trying to be loved. He, he ain't got nobody's attention for nothing. Even Disney. his own mama was an adoptive mama. He that's the only person he truly, truly, truly gave a he damn do, about. Like he, he got parent issues, so he talks. He do. He do. <laughs> Like, and I can't blame I can't blame Loki for that. Thor Love and Thunder about how no. he how he had to experience his brother die like seven times. It's like oh, oh. <laughs> look, my, my daughter came back and was telling me about she was like, You gotta watch it because I love Ragnarok and I love mm. Ragnarok for two reasons. One, because Thor is always a good kiki, and two, because the Hulk was wearing a towel walking around, it's just like <laughs> you know you want to drop the towel. Let me see. Man. What's going on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> just I just nails. I just feel like the size was not proportionate. <laughs> <laughs> I was it was it was like it was wait a minute, the math like, so the math ain't math in on this right now. How are we oh I'ma leave it? You know what? The kids is around. Let me just stop. Yeah, kids is around. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> But when my daughter no told copy. me about Love and Thunder, I was just like, okay. She was like, the funniest part is when they when he snapped, Zeus snapped away his clothes. And I was just like, wait, hold on. What did you watch at the movie? Did, it- <laughs> did you see what the right movie? Like, hey, he was like, did you see the right what? movie? Okay, let me see your ticket stuff. <laughs> was this a, fan, this a fan fiction event? What's going on? Yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. I need answers. That should have been something I watched first before you went. I seen that in the theater. And I, when I say the gasps that I heard from the women, <laughs> it wasn't too much gas. It was just like, it was more like, mm. oh. <laughs> like, oh. Look, when, the, when I was watching the clip and the girls was like, the lady was just like, should we help them? And he was like, nah, let's wait a minute. I was like, that's good. <laughs> Go ahead, eat, eat your food, sit back, baby girl. We about to when, when no, no, he, he he did. Did. When he Jane and Valkyrie sat back and was just like, even Valkyrie yeah, was like, Valkyrie, I'm <laughs> take a pause. Hold on for a second. He's gonna be okay. Yeah. He'll be all right. We're gonna He'll watch this for a bit, see how it pans out, you know, how it evens out. <laughs> like they didn't have the same, they didn't have the same vibe that Bucky had when uh the door Malaje was whooping USA agents' ass. They like <laughs> Bucky just wanted them to whoop his ass. That's what it was like. <laughs> Just get like to the business. Jane, Jane and Valkyrie knew how that was going to play out. They were just like, we are in a no rush right here. You know, Good. Jane was like, I've been here before. I ain't never left. <laughs> like, this why I'm back again. I'm still here. I was like, I seen Jane. I was like, Jane, what you about? You come here to, to flip the block again. You about to turn the block again, girl. <laughs> Don't mess with him. It was a whole mess. Don't do it. Him. But yeah, I can't blame Loki. I, I can't be mad at it, especially after the show. I really can't be mad at him. I'm like, oh, dude, man, you just have insane. like, you have parent issues. And mm-hmm. and and now that your brother's in the same fucking boat because they found out you have a sister that nobody told y'all about. Oh, she's and, easy. <laughs> and destroyed the world and everything. It was like, it, if I was Thor, I'm surprised he, it took him this long to hit the depression wall. I'm shocked that he didn't hit it sooner. And like, Look. you know. Your sister came out with all the smoke. She was like, so what we ready to do? And they were like, wait, hold on. Who are you? (laughs) Who are you? So my daddy got a baby? Another baby? You older than us? There's conversations we got to have. Come on, bring yourself on. No, we're here today. (laughs) Trying to trick him with sister. Wow. (laughs) Look, Loki was, I was watching it like, dang, Loki, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Like, you got real parent issues, but you super toxic. Still, yeah. kind of yeah. can't blame. And like I said, when they, when the mother died, what, Odin was Nick Cannon. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Proud was you getting get, you, get you for that one? Uh, you get the applause, the that's <laughs> ma'am. That's a perfect depiction. We were, watching Blood of Zeus. we were watching Blood of Zeus, and my daughter was asking me. She was like. So what's up with Zeus? He has all these kids by all these different women. I say, <laughs> I can't Zeus even say what I'm saying because the kids are around. I was just like, Zeus and Odin, boy, they that's stay. That's what he's gonna be for the rest of his life. He was out he's here fighting. Thought, 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 what show is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those old gods? No. Right. They was out there nasty. I was like, this is nasty. Oh, <laughs> Everything man. is nasty. 
so I don't know if you guys have watched. I know Kira has uh, watched House of the Dragon. Oh, <gasps> first off, because it's funny that Prowess mentions these old gods and everything. It's like, <laughs> look, y'all got one more damn time to marry off these little kids to Dude. these grown ass men. <laughs> Wait, and how are they trying to pass off the, the brother to the sister? Even the like, even like, kid had to look at like, it. Wait, 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 pump breaks. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he's, he's they like, hold like, on. Strong, but, but it's just say. making like babies with like deformities and they're not getting this part. They're like no. getting mad about it. Like, no, this is how this happens. Google kids is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there, I'm like, this is insane. That you would sit there. Terrible. And here, here's the fact. The, <laughs> first off, the king was like, I can't. I, I'm putting blame in his court still too. He was like, "But he's too." I'm like, Dude, it ain't just not that, that it's brother. brother. Not that it's <laughs> brother. He's just two. Because he's two. That's the only thing that was like it was the perfect. I was just like, "Come on, man!" Don't be nasty. I can't. <laughs> I can't keep watching these nasty. Thing with his and, and, I, and like, I was with the Valerians for a minute there stuff. until he started offering up his little girl. I'm like. This is why I can't watch Victorian like era <laughs> stuff or medieval stuff in that era because it's just like so much nastiness. Like when I was watching The Witcher, I did like The Witcher. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love The Witcher. Oh yeah, a lot but, of y'all ladies but, like The Witcher. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> the Witcher. It's not just for that though. It's got it's stories. It's a good it's story. Good it's a good, good story. Stuff. It's a good storyline. But I still was like, hey, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> knock at your door. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Wow. Oh, but yeah, watching that stuff when I start seeing that stuff, I'm like, oh man, I forgot what era we were talking about. This is when all the nastiness just just being nasty. Yeah. Just nasty. Yeah. Rhaenerys is the only one that's like she got some sense. She's like, you know what? I am sick of all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a goddamn thing to do with never one of my y'all. My mama gone, yeah, yeah. my little brother gone. All my mad- wait. All the siblings, all the siblings, Damon is giving me my Heisman trophy now after what he just did. You know, then your friend, your friends married off to your dad, and you just like, you gotta look at her. Some trifling shit, too. How you just gonna try to check her? She tried to check her friend, try to check. I'll say, she looked at me, go check me, boo. That's all I seen in my head. I was like, that's insane, girl, because I can't do this today. That's that was just too much. And but you know, know what? I give, my ghetto, I give ghetto commentary what I call ghetto commentary doing certain things I loved watching. And I, I was in there like, uh uh-uh, uh girl, this is too much. <laughs> you married to our friend? What? I said, the audacity. My daughter came but, out, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> but listen, she's not doing the she's playing the game the right way. She yeah. knows when to push, she know when to step up, and she knows when mm-hmm. to dial it back. Yeah, she but, took out that board and walked back onto the onto the court, just like I ain't talking to y'all, none of y'all some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everybody. I, I'm going home. Keep moving. I I'll want you home. to take the I want you to take. She's giving me big day and there's energy. Oh, she, yeah. she really is, you know, oh, yeah. 200 oh. years prior. And yeah. it's just like this is the one we're rooting for right now. Right uh-huh. now. Does Damon that dude he's I give to him, he's a beast. He dangerous. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Why did they? Okay, I'm the, I, I'm a, I'm giving this episode a seven out of ten. Okay, fair. I need to see how he whooped that man's ass, where he cut him not in half, but like like two thirds of his body was gone. Yeah. How he you took, get two took, thirds of the body took gone? Arm, That's some good. Took the upper arm. <laughs> That's some good man. And I'm like. Dude, that's a hell. I'm like, that's, that's just a clean me. cut. I don't care what kind of sword you got. You're yeah. not the mountain. You know, like, is that the right? Did you get the serrated sword? I just want to know. No, nothing. Just in, like, just blood on it's his. What is going one. on? It's a, yeah. There's so many moments. Oh, God. Man, I love Mark, it. what do you think about? Well, see, we have shows like, now that we have House of Dragon, we also have uh, Rings of Power. I haven't watched it. Me neither. Rings of Power is fun. Uh, was it? So apparently they're replacing the kid actors after episode six. Oh, thank God! If it's I mean, that's they that's they got the adult, the 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 um the adult voice um at the beginning of the first episode, 
is Rhaenyra's talking, basically telling the story. So yeah, she's got to, they got to get the boot. <clears throat> and time has been passing, so. Yeah, quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I oh god, <laughs> yeah, I think they better switch the kids. Oh, up. yeah, yeah, oh, god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, god. Relax, relax, man. I gotta I, give me a minute. When I wasn't watching it no more, I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm. like, but yeah, we still have we have shows like Rings of Power, and uh, finally, we, we're we seeing us in fantasy mm. consistently, we're us fantasy, consistently, and we needed this, we need to see this, stuff. and mm -hmm. uh, like. This latest episode, we get introduced to King Duran and Duran, and I'm like, Duran, 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 Duran. Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, I had to go, I had to think about it. I'm like, in The Hobbit, I'm like, there was a Duran, and I'm like, oh, wait, it's the same bloodline. Okay, I'm with it. You know, so, and then and seeing who Duran was married to, it was a sister. And, uh, and, and in this next episode, we're getting, I, I, she's a queen or somebody. It's another one they're introducing to. So we have already got a black elf. We got a black dwarf. I don't know who this sister is that they're getting ready to show for the next episode. But we here. I'm here for it. <laughs> Love it. I'm here for it. So you know what though? My um just a side note. My come my quote, my okay, so my exclusives. Are exclusive you know it's kind of a general thing but if you look at my shirts i literally worked with a couple artists and one artist in particular he like was giving me some nice nice stuff and mm -hmm. like i you seen the uzumaki shirt that i did yeah yeah the naruto yeah. uzumaki one but i did like some sailor moon shirts and it was just like all black <laughs> black and i was just like this is so beautiful just to see the different shades, the different tones. Every time I work with somebody, I'm like, I need different shades, different mm -hmm. tones of brown and black so we can see mm -hmm. that. And it, man, I'm like, and not to like boost my myself or nothing, but like, I literally love my shirts. I love my exclusive stuff that you've seen in the video, but I love my shirts because it was just like, my my kids were seeing them, but like, so you're going to put this in my closet, right? I'm just like, look. <laughs> but see, that's the vibe you want. for you. To buy and take up. I actually want to wear one of the shirts right now. Take this um, one jacket. She ain't gonna miss it. <laughs> Look, they were looking at my um Rockley the goat jacket, and they're like, so or my shoes that I was making. They were like, Hey, mom. I was just like, Nope, mm -hmm. nope. And then my son brought it up. He said, Why are you making so big? I was like, Those are samples. He was like. Mm, so you wasn't thinking about me. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about your college tuition. How about that? Yeah, right. How about like, that? Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, it's it, but the t-shirts. I love the t-shirts because they have so much representation, and you can see yourself within, you know, any character that you I put in there. Like I said, different hues, different tones, different looks. Like we have some streetwear. You know, some of the characters with streetwear looks. Um, we have Yu Yu Hakusho coming out next, so we got that uh, Bayek family. Um, ooh, right now we're gonna be dropping. We're gonna be dropping a uh, pretty soon. You're gonna see on the site is the black AOT stuff that I did, um, mm -hmm. and some black mm -hmm. Mecha stuff, like some Gundam and some black Gundam, some Android, all that stuff. We it's like I just came out the woodworks. So like let's do this. Let's create this. Let's create that. Some Ninja right. versus Samurai stuff. It's just been like. It's been every creative, pro every process of the, every step of the creative process was originality, originality. And those are all my original concept stuff. And I do have the anime stuff, which is the Sailor Moon, the Naruto. Literally, I was just like, okay, I, I love Naruto, but I'm sick of looking at all these Naruto pictures <laughs> as I'm making the merch. I'm sick of looking at Naruto. And I'll just go back to my Sailor Moon, like, I like Sailor Moon doing this. So, um, but there's so many pieces that are in there, not just the pieces you guys have seen. Like, so many pieces I'm super proud of. And, like, oh, man, I wish you guys could see it. And just go on. When the site is, like, fully, fully up, you guys would just be able to see everything. And I swear that Uzumaki shirt, I was just like, I need that shirt now. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And I'm like, <laughs> I can go get it. But I can't wait like, to rock some of this, rock some of this stuff. So look, let me just be like, hey, hey, you need look. to go to the site. Oh, go pick it up. I cannot that... wait to send it to you guys. I was just like so excited. I was just like, I gotta pick one for everybody and see what I'm doing right now because I do 
work with Nakia too, Renee. So mm. I got to send she's her dope. some stuff. She's yeah, always she's Yes, she's cool. look, I will always speak highly of that young lady because she is the so <laughs> to me. And she's such a kind and sweet person and so deserving of the things that she does because she does work hard and all that stuff. And she is able to tap mm. into different aspects of, you know, her blurred them, her blurred them, her nerd them. You know all that stuff, and I love her for it. So she, she, I love how she calls out some of the the clowns on her live. I, I'm just like, oh. I'm, I'm just here for the, I'm just here for the shade right now. So yeah. right? I'm just watching <laughs> them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she gonna call out the stuff, the stuff they come in here and say. I'm like, yo, this is not that type of party, my guy. <laughs> like, chill out with the thirst, my guy. Look, the thirst traps be in there, and I'll be like, can I put my hat in there? Go ahead, send me a badge. <laughs> <laughs> Are we paying somebody's mortgage today? <laughs> Look, the thirties be really in there. Like, hey, they I'm did. I'm like, between her and Nurse J. Becky, they just yes. I'm like, and I go in like, there just to it. listen to them. Like, they, they, I love like hearing certain conversations that she has. Like, even though it's like no back and forth, but it's like certain things she talks about. I'm like, that's dope. That's dope. And her transition from what she, you know, what she's trying to do. Yeah. I'm like, that's dope. Just seeing all that stuff. But I just sit out there like, y'all, do y'all got a job that y'all just sitting here and being nasty? On they this be iPod? nuts, man. <laughs> and they like, be all day, every day. All yeah. day. I'm like, for free. Y'all, are y'all at work for doing free. this? Does your boss like, know? Do I did a live with her a while back. And we were, and she was talking about making that transition and, and doing like more comedy, more acting and stuff like that. And the comments i'm like yo i can't get rid of these jokers fast enough <laughs> like i'm you, like you I kick was, them out they come back in yeah i was like what i don't even know who this other dude was but he was just going bananas and i'm like yo i can't whoever this dude is he's dropping the, 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 he's like dropping the water emoji there the eggplant emojis the water emojis i'm like dude Cool. And it's like I'm glad I didn't open up the floor for questions because the questions will be really nasty. Like I'll be like, this is super disrespectful, like to the point, like you guys gotta let her be her be herself and take that transition. If she's transitioning from one thing to another, let her have that transition. I understand you're a nasty man, but <laughs> There's a Let time and a place. Yeah, there's it's a time, a time and a place. place. I'd rather you hit her DMs and go on her live talking all that nasty stuff. Like, that's just, I was like, girl, I you couldn't block them fast enough. Like you said, you couldn't block them fast enough. I'll probably be ignorant in that live and say something that make everybody <laughs> click off. Like, everybody's, <laughs> account, everybody's, account, everybody's account. Everybody's account is suspended. Gonna be okay. Yep. Man, Mark, I know what you, what do you have coming up next? <laughs> like everything. Uh, <laughs> everything the way he look at if you can see this is why you need to watch the live if you can see when i asked him that he was just like what oof. don't i have coming up next first off <laughs> first off let me congratulate mark because he was just announced as the teacher for the esports league at the school at the school correct and so yeah <laughs> tell him about that um, well, I was teaching uh, multimedia. I was teaching film and music to kids at the high school last year. And um, they had somebody else for that position this year, but then something opened up that they needed that the high school was finally able to have high school competitive tournaments in. That's actually part of the, e- you know, the esports stuff. So um, what happens, they called me because they remember I, you know, I had a background in gaming and things like that. And they said, hey, is this something you might be interested in? And I said, sure, no problem. So they're getting ready to set everything up. And it's been a while, like for a person who played semi-pro years ago and being able to coach new kids and the new opportunities is just a, you know, inspiring experience. So it's really great to have that. I think that's so dope because, like I said, I've been uh, watching your work, like, consistently. Like, it's no question. And when you announced that when you made that post that was what last week that was last week i think and i'm like yeah dude congratulations because you know now you're showing the next generation of kids you know because that's what they don't seem to realize what a lot of people don't seem to realize is like this kind of tech that we do like the podcasting the web shows the esports you know the online clothing game like this is the next stage of everything and like that awakening we were talking about like two years ago 
amongst our community on December 21st, that little, that little wake, it's already been happening. Like, it took the world to shut down for us to see it, but it's already happening. And we're getting all of that finally. And I'm like, I'm so ecstatic to see, like, what's the next stage? Because, like I said, I'm, I'm consistently listening to your albums. <laughs> like, like, it stayed in, like, it stuff stays in rotation. Like, I'm like, well, I'm I mean, not even going to buy yeah. the single. I'm buying the whole album. And <laughs> so, well, that's, that's an honor. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, I, I it's stuff like that. I look forward to that. Um, besides the esports gig, what's next on the, on the music tip? You just finished the tour. Yeah. Um, I just got done uh, doing uh, the Music and Video Games Festival in Mag West. So that yeah. was definitely a great experience. I got a show Saturday with uh, with Mega Ran, Penny the Great, and um, Microphone Misfits. Then um, the 17th, I'm on Bonus Stage, which is a virtual show with a lot of uh, VGN video game music composers. I'm like one of the people for that. Um, currently... Currently, I'm doing a voice act for a uh, stop motion Transformers film. I get to play Getaway. You did say that. That recently just happened. Um, of course, Count on the Cob in October. Um, Let me see you there. The the production with Irvin and King Vader when they come over Powerpuff Girls. I scored that, so that comes out soon. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, and then, I, I, and, I, and I'll just let you know the final thing. I'm getting ready to come out with these um, these series. Like, if you've seen the project, the Super Pack, what I'm doing is um, I'm coming out with things called the Booster Pack. So every two months, just like if you're a card game player, mm-hmm. every two months you'll get like a three or four track EP based on the theme. So in October is about walkers. So it's about the zombie stuff and how I like the Walking Dead games, Last of Us, etc. So every two months will be a new theme based on where it is. So this man, that's why when he shook his head, he's like, "What am I not doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> where do I begin?" <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it just, you know, it's one of those. Uh, you know, I got, I got one of those girls that, you know, she, she makes sure she's like, "Mark, you're gonna have to write a schedule. All the things you need to do. Yeah. Always get you one of those." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why do you sound like Candy B? <laughs> what she said. Has she been talking to my ex co host? Oh, yeah, there's even there's even more stuff. I'm also <laughs> producing uh Prowse to Testament's uh Sailor Moon project as well. Yes. And, and, and if, if for those who don't know, go back to a couple past episodes where I had Prowse to Testament on, and you will hear the little teaser track that our very own Mark Cooper actually produced. It was really dope. It was the Starsky and Hutch cut. Uh I wonder if I can find that right now. <laughs> I was like, no, it's got. I got to dig for it. I got to dig it out the Google Drive. Um, but uh, but yeah, that is dope. Um, just came through the pipe. One of our one of our uh, viewers, Jay Rich, who is running J One Con, which is the longest uh, anime con, anime and gaming con, ran by owned that's owned by a black man or a black person. Period. Will be celebrating its tenth anniversary this November. Uh, here's a nice little trailer. For you. That is November 4th through the 6th. You can't beat $40 for a weekend pass now. Not only is it affordable, there's a lot going on. So that shout out to Jay Rich for that uh, nice trailer. He just sent it to me. He told him, I said, I get it up for him. He said, did you send it to him? I'm like, yeah, send it to me now. I got, I'll take care of it. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank our guests, Mark Cooper, Indra Hill Jordan of Gerd Clothing, our new partner. Uh, <laughs> can't wait for the website to come up. I'm gonna start rocking some of this merch. Ooh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my new guest host, my new ghost, get uh, 
Get it out, kid. <laughs> <laughs> My new co-host, uh, Kira Brown. Hi. Let's talk about everything, where everybody's at. Hold on. What, who said it? Uh, yeah. Look, there she go. Yep. I'm going to be buying some girl clothing. Thanks for prowess yeah. and testament. Yeah. She's, Thank and she's you. like, yeah, she's, she's seen them same weekend as you and kind of wanted to go. Yep. Yeah. It's a lot going on that weekend. Um, I'm getting that drunken master sh- uh, jacket, madam. That's, oh, <laughs> that's, that's in the cart. That is a coveted jacket. I love that jacket because it's leather sleeves, leather trim. It has three patches of uh, Rockley as a goat, like the yep. goat. And as a drunken goat. master, he is the like goat. the detail, the detail to it, it was just like so much work I put into that detail because I was like, can you do the patches? To be like literally, you can see the detail, and they had to do detail patches in order for me to go for it with that. So and I got some, weird. I got some really good shirts too, like Gara versus Rock Lee. I got some just Rock Lee shirts. I got some uh, Uzumaki. So I just got shirts out the yin yang. I got um, I got some with CK Knight. I got a shirt with CK Knight. Mm. Um, mm. Like I, I got, I've been working with some really, really talented people. All, of, all the artists I work with are talented. I've worked with are talented, but I was like, let me put out some bang. <laughs> let me bang it out for everybody. <laughs> like, I, yes, I'm gonna do the fan art stuff, but I'm gonna give you some OC like stuff, some original character stuff. Like, you're not gonna be like, okay, you're not gonna ever see. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's what I love about this this line is. It's paying homage to the stuff that we fell in love with, but like you said, you also have some original OC stuff, and that's what's dope. And if you want to get in touch with Girl Clothing at Girl Clothing on IG, she has that website getting ready to pop off really, really soon. You could actually get in right now. Um, if oh, you hit yes. me up with the DM, take a picture of your uh email subscription, and I'll give you the password. You can get on in and start shopping right now. You hear that, people? Go to the site right now, get a screenshot, she'll send you the password. Yep, of your email subscription, and I'll send you the password. Send it to my DM. There you go. Don't be nasty in the DMs, people. Please don't be nasty in the DMs. <laughs> I've never, I have never had nobody be nasty. I actually had somebody like literally hit me up and said, you should just give me some free merch. Like, what are we talking about, sir? <laughs> Who are you <laughs> talking about? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know you. Like my kids don't even get the free merch. Who okay. are you? Sir? Look, my kids still gotta pay for the merch. I'm like, so you owe me this much money. They're like, wait, what? <laughs> you can pay me in uh, chores. <laughs> right, pay me in chores. Mark Cooper, it's always a pleasure. You can follow him at it's Mark at it's Mark Cooper on every platform. Uh go show some love. Get some of the stuff off of Bandcamp. Check out Power Rangers Rap the Redux, the Redux Redux. And uh a bunch of his other stuff that he has on there. Oh like, yeah, um September 16th uh, I'll release it for all digital platforms as well. So yeah. beyond Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff too. It's going to be everywhere. So you need to be on it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kira. Yes, sir. A room full of blurs. Tell them all about it. Yeah, room full of blurs. Um currently on Instagram as room full of blurs. Um, I also have my uh, Child of Mandalore podcast on Spotify. You can look it up on there. Uh, talking about the history of Mandalore as a whole. Uh, yeah, um, I'm also on Fanbase. Uh, you can look me up there. I have a little audio room that I have every Saturday at 9. And we talk about all things blurred for the week or stuff that I haven't heard about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, and for those who were listening from the beginning and watching from the beginning and you've seen our weight screen music playing all the anime, if you want to know who to get those that music from, Villainous Beats is the one at Villainous Beats as DLNS VLNS underscore beats. Uh he provided some of the music for me. Uh the, the main music though, of course, was done by G Dash Black, was done by G Black. He's all He's, he's family. That's what he is. Uh, There's <laughs> just no other way to put it. Uh, if you are always checking us out, well, check us out on IG. I'm always running the IG page. If you go to the IG page, you get the full link tree on there. So go to the link tree. It'll send you to all the social sites that I'm on, including the new Twitter page, because I had to rename the Twitter page. So everybody knew. They were like, well, I'm not Blurred's Eye View, but I am Blurred's Eye View because I'm running the ship. <laughs> so it was called a little confusion but also if you're watching if you're checking us out on facebook this is the facebook page you want to check out blurred's eye view all capital all put together the old page has the eye view split in half and we i'm trying to get facebook to um <clears throat> get off their haunches and get that together 
<laughs> but you know how that works. But you can follow us on Opulence Radio. You can also check us out on iHeart Radio everywhere you listen to podcasts, iHeart, uh, Spotify, Google, Apple, wherever you listen to your podcast. I sound like DC now. I'm like, y'all know where we can find this. It's been two years. But uh, but we're gonna leave out now. I want to thank our guests, uh, Mark Cooper and our new partner, Indra Hero Jordan of Gird Clothing for tuning in and coming in giving off some of this great information and just having some fun kicking back i hope my guy i hope you guys had a great time uh but until next mission remember to educate yourself and others entertain yourself and others and encourage yourself and others tune in this thursday with me and my other co-host tracy carr and possibly kira might join in with the group as well okay. at 9 p.m and uh that's going to be the season finale for blurds uh for blurds reacts however I'm actually playing with the idea of taking Blur's Eye View to twice a week now. So tune in for that. Uh, <laughs> busy man over here. I'm trying to get us paid. Do you understand? Speaking trying of Trying to be like Mark. <laughs> get to the bag. That's what gets you. The bag. No, I don't do anything at all. So everything, everything he said was a complete lie. I don't. I don't, I don't do anything at all. This is, this is all. This is all Andy Kaufman magic. I, I just, yeah, you know, it's unseen, just, unheard. But uh, yes. speaking of doing everything, uh, that door is still open for a lot of POC women and men. I provided I'm providing the safe space. I'm providing the platform. If you want to join the team, be sure to hit me up on the IG chat page and I will give you all the details to go to what to next. Uh, I'm looking for a lot of POC women and men who's living in Ohio area. So in case we have to do any live events, we have a team to con con contact too, because you know, Nick Fury can't do it all and neither can Chris Fury, but, <laughs> <laughs> but until next mission, we're out of here. Talk to you guys soon.